Okay, I got a request by Lucy. Uh, I have to say this one's gonna be a little challenging. It was tough, it was tough. I mean, I could do it, it's just teaching it, but we're gonna try. Okay, so we're gonna start with his eyes. So it looks like a lemon. So we have a lemon eye. Okay, and inside that eye is just a circle, okay? So off of that eye, we are gonna have his eyebrow. So it kind of comes up and over. And it's more than just one. It has like two, three in there. Okay. Now, on the side of this, we're gonna do his eyebrow. I mean, his the arch. And then this is actually part of his eyebrow here. Then just go a little ways over here. We're gonna start his nose. It's just a big arch. It's like a hooked nose. And then it's gonna come up and around, okay? We got his nose. And then on this side, we're gonna do his other eyebrows. Now they're coming coming off a little bit because he's got crazy eyes. And right behind it, you're gonna do another lemon, but it's mostly behind it and his little eyeballs right there. And we're gonna make this part thicker. His upper lid is gonna be thicker. We'll end up doing that with Sharpie, but I was just showing you. And then up here, make an arch here for where the top part is, okay. So what we're gonna do now, his cheek. So right here, we're gonna do a rainbow for his cheek. Then it's gonna go straight down. And on this side, it's gonna kind of like parallel that nose a little bit. And underneath the nose, right off of that tip, we've got his teeth. So right on the tip there. And then from that tip, we're gonna be making his smile and then bringing back. And then his lips gonna come out and then parallel that. Okay, and so in cartoons, they don't usually draw the teeth, they just usually do like lines. So we just do two lines to show you where the teeth are. And then his chin is amazing. So it's gonna come out from his lip, he's gonna go down, and he's gonna go straight, straight, and then straight back up, okay? Super chin. So on top of his head, he's got a great hat. So we're right from above, where his two archways is, you're gonna be making the indent of his hat. And then it's just gonna come around and in. We're gonna put hair in there. So same thing on this side. And come in. I haven't done the, the fluffy feather up there yet. Um, but we are gonna put parts of his, so right coming out of where the eye, eyebrows are, this is gonna be his hair, and I just did a slight wave. And we'll finish it off more when we do his shoulders. So this one's just gonna have a little wave. Ooh, that's the other side. Okay, so to do his plumage up here, so you're gonna come up and over and stop. Then you're gonna go cut up and over and stop. Okay, and so this one actually is falling over it. So you're gonna be going, going into the hat and we were gonna be racing in there because we it's covering up part of that hat. Yes, I drew too hard because I wanted you to see it, but usually I don't draw hard at all. All right, so now we're gonna make its plume in, so it's gonna be a scalloped edge and then you're just gonna bring it around and then whoop. All right, that's his awesome plumage on there. All right, now it's time for the awesome scarf. So we're coming out right out of the chin. We're gonna make a line here, and then right on this edge of where his chin comes together, make a line. So this is when you're gonna be able to make, if you remember doing the dress, if you ever did it, you're just gonna go back and forth like this. You see how it just looks like an S? And now you're gonna connect this by going up, up, Okay, so now we're gonna make another one. So make it down here and come. So it just looks like it's like a curly Q. And then make these go up, 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 up. Look at that, isn't that awesome? That is awesome. So right in this corner, everything's happening right here. So we got his chin coming off. We have his plumage on his shirt coming off and his hair is gonna be coming off here too. All right, so we're gonna make this side. So right off of the hair, we're gonna be making his arm. And then now it's his, what is this called? 
This cuff of his jacket is pretty bell-like. And then he's got fluff coming out of his jacket. And then you're just gonna make it go ooh. And inside there, make a half dome. And then, now you wanna make the hook. So you're just gonna make one longer pair, longer line and then a shorter line. And then inside there, you're gonna be making almost a full circle, but stop. Now parallel this, full circle, and then bring it to a point. There you go. And if you wanna, you can bring this around. So that's like the other side of his fluffies. All right, he's, we're gonna come over here on this side and coming out, we're gonna be making his arm. And the same thing over here, it's gonna be rounded and then it's gonna come in. It's almost like a cone. And then now, make them come out on either side. Oh, we need fun facts. So the original story of Peter Pan was a book by J.M. Barry. See, this, he made this book a long time ago. It was kind of like a book play, and he actually saw how much the kids, it didn't originally have Captain Hook in it, and then he saw how much the kids, it was like a little play, love the pirates, the evil pirates, that he needed a captain of them. So that's when he put in Captain Hook. And why it's Captain Hook, now you want to make some lines in here, it's because he's got a hook on his head, which I believe was cut off, was bitten off by a crocodile. So now this is going to be his sword. I didn't make that too rounded here. And it's gonna come in down at the bottom, okay? I would probably get something straight. I do not have a ruler with me right now, but you, I would suggest get a ruler and then make your straight line. I'm gonna try to do it without a straight line, but I get a pretty steady hand because I'm putting lots of practice. Okay, there you go. All right, so his waist is very small, so it's coming in. Look how small his waist comes to. And then it's gonna come back out on both sides. And um, Captain Hook has two fears. I knew of one, I didn't know of the other. Okay, we're gonna be putting his sash over here. So it's gonna come here, go behind the fluff, and bring it out. I know it probably has a name, but I don't know. Um, his one fear is crocodile. His other fear is his to see his own blood. I'm like, what? I didn't know that. All right, so coming out right out of here, this is gonna be part of his jacket. Um, so we already know he's the ultimate villain, but he's one of the few Disney villains that does not die. He's still alive, he just gets chased by a crocodile. I, mean, I guess it depends on which, what you see. There's the Hook movie, and that's different. Bring that down, and then you're gonna connect this. Here we go. Oh. Yes. Um, so in the book, he's more villainous, but in his, for his pants. In the movie, he was more cowardly. I would consider him more cowardly. These are his legs, and then you're gonna make a line here so you kinda can see where it's coming. You know what, I think I might, it's not in there, but I'm gonna add that in there. His legs, you can see other parts of his legs. It kinda looks like, where's the other leg? So I'm actually, there you go. Yep, I think that looks better. And he's got these little bows coming out the sides here. Right, for his legs, we're gonna come here and down, here and down. This one, it's, he's behind it. Then you're gonna be putting, this is the decoration on the shoe. Then you're gonna put ovals. There's a decorative oval on the shoes. And then his shoes come out. So this one comes out here. And then this one. Oh, I guess it comes in a little bit more. All right, I think we, did we do it all? I think so. Oh, back here. This is the, to make it look like the, it's the jacket in the back swishing around. I think we got it all. Oh, mustache, yes. So coming out behind his nose, he just has these long, it's a little thicker here, and then it goes thin on the end. So 
There we go. Yes, I believe I got it all now. All right, so let's sharpen this puppy. I'm just using the ultra fine, ultra fine point because it's a lot of small detail in there. And I do have some awesome jokes, um, really funny jokes after I draw this. Okay, now I'm going to shove, shove, double Sharpie around the outside. So, what I used, I'm gonna show you the hat. So I used magenta. So I'm just gonna lightly go over the whole thing with magenta. Ooh, I got my jokes. I got my jokes for the day. How does Captain Hook blow off steam? Beats me. You don't get it then sorry I thought it was pretty funny I think Smee's one of my favorite characters in Captain Hook so so funny so what I did is so I just did everything just like the basic simple now you see how there's like shadow under there so now you want to press down harder right along here and same thing over here I'm just pressing harder. And then I'm gonna actually go in there and put gray in there too. Go to that next level of awesomeness. Okay, so then I come in here with gray and then I'm just gonna press down hard to give it that shadow underneath here. And a little bit down here. Awesome job. I probably, I think I'm gonna go around the outside of here. This is gonna, yeah, it's gonna make it look better. Going around the outside. Okay, super job. What else is this color? His pants. Oh, one more joke. Where did Captain Hook get his hook? The second hand store. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm coloring in all of this. I know, trying to do a little quick. So now I'm gonna press harder along in there for the shadow, because his, his coat is over it. And then I'm going to press along the bottom here. All right, so now get the gray and then make it go inside here for the shadow. All right, we are done with that color. So Let's now do simple as can be. The black is just black. So I I was debating if I just sharpie the whole thing in, but I thought, well, I'll just keep it the same look as all the other colored pencils. I'm just gonna color it in black. You wanna go over it a few times in different directions to get rid of all the holes. And we all know that Captain Hook, let's see. Um, is afraid of crocodiles and then the crocodile in the movie has swallowed a clock. So he knows when the crocodile is coming because he hears a tick, 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 
That just makes them get all bugged out and scared. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So if you wanna go over it a few times, you can just get it nice and black in there. And I kinda of went over the face a little bit. Sometimes you can erase the pencil and make it look good. Okay, so for his skin is just the peach. So I'm just gonna go over it just medium color on the whole thing. And what else is this color is his hand. Okay, so now go over around the edges a little bit more. We will do this with tan also, but this gives another layer. Go around the outside around his lips. Okay, so that's this is where you bring in the tan. And now you want to go around. Oh, I forgot this line right here. Do you guys his nose? Do you see this line from here to here? Almost forgot that in there. So now you want to go around the outside of all the sharpies. And a little bit under here. All right, I did not give him any pink in his cheeks because I'm like, he don't deserve it. Now I'm gonna go around lightly with gray around the outside to make it shadows. You wanna go underneath so it looks like this is laying on top nicely. So also down here, down here, 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 there you go. Looks good. And then if you wanna put a little gray on its sleeves, they're popping out. What else? Oh, a little bit under the teeth. Oh, I forgot some mouth. <sighs> Silly. So right under here, I'm gonna color that in. Forgot that. All right, so the rest I think you guys can do. It's yellow, gray, purple. We got this, okay. So anyways, Lucy, hope you like it and see you next week.